Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for those tuning in on the radio dial. We're glad you all could be with us. Also, those joining us online around the world, thanks to our friends at iHeartRadio, Spotify, and, of course, Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, we are now right into the beginning of a brand new year, and I'm so excited to be a part of a brand new podcast that's premiering on January the 15th. It's a weekly show that I have the honor and privilege of being with two of my good friends with. I'm going to be sharing this spotlight with Patrice Tanaka, the CEO of Joyful Planet, as well as Rodney Eric Lopez. He's the author of The Generosity Solution. It's called Joy, Love, and Abundance. It's a podcast that's going to shine a light on the people and organizations that are increasing joyful, loving, and abundant action in the community. And we'll also discuss some of the topics that are happening during the week. I'm so excited to welcome this to the Conversations family. Patrice and Rodney are joining us today to not only to introduce themselves to you guys here on Conversations Live, but also to talk a little bit about what you guys can expect. Patrice, Rodney, hello to you, and welcome back to the program. Aloha. Thank you, Thank Cyrus. You. Hi. It's good to be with you again. Well, look, it's great to be on with the two of you, and I should say this is the first time the three of us have been together on Conversations Live. Rodney, the last time that you were on, we, we were doing a one-on-one, and Patrice, the same with you, so I'm glad to be able to kind of bring you all together here on our platform. Before we talk about uh, joy, love, and abundance and how, uh, Patrice, it was actually you who, who first came up with the idea. We're going to talk more about that. I think it would be great for those who are on our different platforms that are just now hearing about the two of you uh, to find out a little bit more about your background. So, Patrice, I'll start with you. You and I have known each other for quite some time now, and I'm glad to be able to have yeah. you back on with us at Conversations Live, but also to talk about Joy, Love, and Abundance. You're the CEO of Joyful Planet, as I mentioned. What has it been like for you, Patrice, to be able to use your platform to share with the world the importance of joy? Well, First, thank you for um, inviting us to be on Conversations Live. I'm always thrilled to be uh, uh, to join you on on your show and with my dear friend Rodney Lopez, and to you know be together with the the two of you. Um, Joyful Planet is actually the name of my uh, consultancy, and it's really my passion project. And I am uh, the founder and chief joy officer of of Joyful Planet, and Joyful Planet is really focused on helping individuals and organizations discover and actively live their purpose um, and leverage their talents, their expertise, and their passion in service of other people and our planet. And I think that by living our purpose, that is how we unleash, you know, success and fulfillment and and joy in our lives. So I, you know, and Joyful Planet is also my vision of 7.7 billion people actively living their purpose and helping to create a more joyful planet. So I love the idea of, you know, talking with you and Rodney about joy, love, and abundance, which, you know, I'm hoping that this is what the three of us can add to to the conversation and um, to bring that to the lives of people who, who listen to your show and look, you know, to you for inspiration and and the good that's happening in the world. Yeah, it definitely is a great opportunity. I'm looking forward to it. Rodney, I should I should let our audience know I initially met you thanks to Patrice. So Patrice is a great connector. Yes. We actually sat down with each other uh, in in New York, taped a segment for my web series and my TV show here in my home state of Mississippi for Cyrus Ware Presents. That would look very odd these days because nobody's getting together in person. (laughs) But you've been very, very active, Rodney. I I mentioned you being an author, but you also are are a dance instructor. You're involved in nonprofit. What has it been like for you to be able to bring your own passions to the world and to see the response to it? 
thank you for that question, Cyrus. And like the trees, I'm I'm thrilled to uh, to be a part of this conversation uh, uh, and and to be engaged in extended conversation with the two of you uh, around joy, love, and abundance. Uh, you know what 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 life has been like uh, in recent years has just been uh, has just been an incredible journey of being able to as Patrice says, explore your purpose and your passion. And when you do that, you do find joy. And so I had a career that began uh, very much like Patrice, Patrice's in public relations. I got my start in in public relations, both in nonprofit and corporate PR, um, but then found uh, a passion that I didn't know I had, which was dance. And, And I loved social dance. I loved Latin dance. At first, I did it for myself, for personal enjoyment but then realized that I had a talent and an interest and a passion for teaching others. And so that led, uh, that led to starting with adults uh, and then eventually moving over to, uh, to teaching children, uh, first high school children with a number of, of, of nonprofit programs and eventually with a, with a wonderful organization called Dancing Classrooms, which is actually how Patrice and I met. Uh, it, it was, it's an organization that she volunteers a lot of time for uh, by serving on Dancing Classrooms board, and, and I was a teaching artist for that organization for many years uh, before becoming uh, its executive director through uh, 2019. And what, what I enjoyed about that work, Cyrus, is that uh, with dance, although we can't do it right now in the way that we uh, normally can for health and safety reasons in general, what social dance does is it brings people together through the, through the power of touch and teamwork. Yeah. And so I found great joy in not just teaching children, but in also teaching others to teach children how to do this work. Um, but along the way, uh, I had some, you know, personal challenges. And the biggest challenge um, was around money and around finances. And I realized that uh, sometimes when you pursue your passion, the money doesn't always follow. And you also don't always um, know how to manage, uh, you know, manage those things very well. And I went through a pretty difficult period in my life where it was really hard for me um, to manage both uh, passion and profit. And so uh, thankfully through a, a series of, of, of wonderful interventions in my life and experiences in my life, which we'll get into, uh, you know, when we start getting into joy, love, and abundance, I was able to discover the process of giving and what it means to have a giving practice and the power of a giving practice in changing your relationship to money and to finances. And that began a 10 year process of creating the generosity and abundance process, which is a, 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 a curriculum that I developed as well as the generosity solution, a book and video series that I'm really happy to share with the world around, uh, around the power of the giving practice and what that means for not just yourself, but your family and your community. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing that, Rodney. And I think it's a great uh, – I noticed when I was prepping for this segment, though, one thing and it was interesting here you talk about the power of touch. I noticed that even now, which you know, definitely more people now literally around the world can benefit from, you're offering these virtual – uh, dance dance lessons, and we're going to let our yeah. audience know at the end how they can stay connected with you. I think that what you said is a great segue, Patrice, uh, back to you. And when you first came to me about the idea of joy, love, and abundance, because and and Rodney, I should let our audience know you guys are going to be seeing some things online. Rodney is responsible for this. I think this uh, amazing way of being able to to put into words what Patrice and I know Rodney and myself hope happens with this podcast, and that is all of us, especially now, right, with the new normal, Patrice, we're in, we use social media, but unfortunately, it's not always the best place (laughs) to be able to be inspired uh, and motivated. Um, What made you say, Patrice, that you wanted to offer something different? Well, and, you know, social media is, is one of the ways that I try to spread joy, love, and abundance you know, in the world because I think of social media these days as kind of the uh, the autonomous uh, nervous system for the planet because everybody seems to be on one or more platforms. And I yeah. think that that's 
really great because then we can connect with one another and we can share things. And, you know, there's so much that I learn from my Facebook and my LinkedIn and my Twitter and my Instagram communities, things that really, you know, warm my heart or make me laugh or, or make me think. And so I love, I love social media because it's a way to share what you, what you know with others and to, you know, inspire others um, and also to get inspiration for yourself. So I like to use social media to share good news or to share helpful or useful news or to share something funny rather than just to use it to vent because I don't know that we need more venting on social yeah. media to, you know, to ratchet up the temperature. Um, but, of course, sometimes, you know, you have to express yourself and you have to you know, find community with others who are equally, you know, outraged by some egregious action and and then together take action to, to right the situation. So, but I wanted to do this program with you and Rodney because for me personally and selfishly, being with people who are committed to sharing joy, love, and abundance is a personal um, uh, uh, luxury for me that I get to spend some time every week with people who are committed to doing that. And hopefully, you know, what we share, you know, extends outward, you know, and touches, reaches people who might be helped by, you know, some of the things we talk about. So anyway, that's kind of my thoughts and my hopes for uh, joy, love, and abundance. Well, Rodney, I have to say, and this is I'm saying this honestly and not just because we have people around the world that are listening to this, that when Patrice at first came to me with the idea, the very first person she mentioned about being a part of this with us was you. Um, and mm-hmm. so she, was, she was really excited about the idea of, of you being a part of this, One of the things that you put in words, I think I could not do it any better, Rodney, and I I love this and I want to talk to you about it. Um, One of the things that you said in talking about joy, love, and abundance was, while there are injustices in in our world, basically, that need to be addressed, there are also important stories of hope and positive work that deserve to be explored and shared. That is something I definitely feel, and Patrice feels the same way, but why is that so important for you to make sure that Yes, you know, we need to, especially like at the time that we're having this conversation, there are some dark things going on in the world. But why is it important for us, Rodney, and why is it important for you to make sure that those great stories, those unsung heroes, are also spotlighted as well as the work that they're doing? Um, Martin Luther King said that, um, you know, that hate can't stamp out hate in the world. Only love can do that. Um, there is there is darkness in the world. Dr. King says that the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Uh, there there are injustices that need to be addressed. There are wrongs that need to be righted um, in the world, and yet focusing only on what is missing just creates more of what is missing. And for me, that's not just uh, that's not just new age. Um, law of attraction talk. I think that there is real power in a positive story. There is real inspiration in seeing something or someone or some community or some organization that's making the difference, that's, that's, that's moving the needle in some area um, where there may not have been hope or where there may not have been light. Um, that inspires people and then people uh, to action. Uh, a, a study was done a number of years ago that showed the act of watching someone do a generous act multiplies that generous act in the in the person who watched it meaning that if i see someone doing something generous in the world it inspires me to do that again and 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 even today uh you know it's the smallest of things and maybe this has happened to both of you but i was in the drive through lane at the at my local Dunkin donuts and i drove up to the window and the young lady uh said the person ahead of you uh, just paid for your order. And, uh, oh. and I was like, 
wow, that's amazing. And I could have just drove it off, <laughs> driven off, um, but I, I chose to pay for the person behind me uh, because I felt like it was not just the right thing to do, but I felt overcome with the generosity of a stranger in that moment. And so I feel like a podcast like this, it, you know, you know, whether it reaches one person or one million people, uh, I hope that we're able to identify, discuss, and share the stories of the people, um, the communities, and the organizations that are doing things in the world to make it a better place, to make it more joyful, to make it more loving, to make it more abundant. And hopefully in those stories, uh, our listeners are inspired to action of their own. I totally agree with that, Patrice. Uh, anything you'd like to add to that? I think, I think it's 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 so important. And I, and Patrice, you recently said this. We were having another conversation with another group that it's not about being Pollyanna. Basically, it's not about saying that there's not going to be there's not challenges in the world, and it's not glossing over that. But it is making sure that people don't forget. And I think also, Patrice, don't you think something like Joy, Love, and Abundance can help people remember that they can be that light, just like the simple things, that by doing the simple things, who knows who they may be able to impact. Absolutely. Yeah, I love to think of joy, love, and abundance, each of those things, all of those things, as a choice, right? We can choose joy, we can choose love, we can choose abundance. And if we can choose, we have the possibility for changing our lives and those of the people around us. Um, Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm excited about hearing little things and big things. Like, I love the Dunkin' Donuts story. Um, and that just warms the cockles of my heart, right? Just a small act like that can really kind of change your day, right? Yeah. Maybe you weren't thinking it was going to be a great day having to be in, in the drive through right. at Dunkin' Donuts. But, but lo and behold, look what... Look what happened, right? I mean, yeah. that's what I, I, I know. Every day is full of surprises like that, right? I mean, unexpected joy. I love it when, when that happens. And that's definitely what we're looking forward to. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, through one of our online affiliates, you're listening to Conversations Live. I'm excited to be joined today by Patrice Tanaka and also Rodney Lopez. We're talking to them not only about the work that they've been able to do individually, but how now the three of us are coming together in a brand new podcast that's premiering pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts around the world. It's called Joy, Love, and Abundance. It was the idea of my friend Patrice Tanaka to be able to come together, to be able to not only to shine a spotlight uh, on that greatness, but I think also to remind us all, I think, of our own personal greatness as well. Uh, Patrice, I want to go back to you with something. I think, you know, as, as this, and you and I, actually all three of us were talking about uh, how, you know, this is new. You know, what we're doing is new, and it will probably evolve. But I think one of the core things that I think all of us agree on, and it really does show that everyone can be a star in their own right. Um, is that something that you also hope? I thought about it even just listening to the two of you and your backgrounds. I think so many times people think they have to have – a million followers to make an impact or, you know, they have to live in a certain place. Do you hope, uh, Patrice, and then Rodney, I'm going to ask you the same question, that people realize they can be that bright spot no matter where they are? Absolutely. Can you imagine if 7.7 billion people are each bright, shining spots and each of us joy generators, right? Even just reaching, you know, the people around us. I mean, that's a lot of joy that could be put into the world just by each of us doing our small part to share joy. And together we could create a more joyful planet, which is the vision that I hold. So uh, I always want to be someone who can contribute to that uh, vision of a joyful planet rather than someone who, who, who detracts from that. So. Yeah. You know, I'm hoping this show can be a positive contributor to uh, creating a, a more joyful planet. Yeah. 
and I will let, let my audience know here at Conversations Live um, the idea uh, for this as well as the name for this. I know it, it is a cool name, Joy, Love, and Abundance. I cannot take any credit at all for that. Uh, I want everyone to know it was Patrice's idea, and she got it from, of course, her, you know, with Joy being, of course, the, the founder of the Joyful Planet, uh, with with Rodney writing about abundance and being about abundance, and then me, of course, I would have love. So um, that's kind of how the idea <laughs> the idea for this <laughs> came about. Rodney, I wanted to ask you that question that I asked Patrice, though. I just wanted to make sure that she got that credit, though, for uh, for coming up with the great yeah, name for this podcast. But, uh, Rodney, what about for you? Do you hope, and I know in your work as well, um, do you hope that people realize that they don't have to be a, you know, a social media influencer or whatever, that they can be a star in a shining light no matter where they are. One of my favorite teachers uh, in the world gave a seminar on leadership, and he used the, the analogy of a car. And he asked, he asked the group, what part of the car would you consider the leader? What, what, what part of the automobile is the leader of the car? Is it the engine? The engine is what makes it go. Is it the battery? The battery is what provides the power. Uh, is it the spark plug? The spark plug is the thing that, um, that, that gives the burst of energy to the battery so that the engine can go. Or is it the $2 transfer wire without which the transfer of energy does not go from the spark plug to the battery? And, and what, what he taught us in that seminar was there is no one leader in an automobile. Every mm. aspect of the car is a leader in its area of influence. You could have a, a, uh, a Ferrari. You could have a, uh, a, you know, a $100,000 Lamborghini car or a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. But if you take out that $2 transfer wire, that car isn't going anywhere. And so wow. – Anyone in our sphere of influence, no matter where we are, it's not about eyeballs and followers and fame. It's about who are we influencing and how. The CEO and the maintenance staff has the opportunity to be a leader in their organization. And so I hope what we're able to do with Joy, Love, and Abundance is just show that abundance can live anywhere Love can live anywhere. Joy can exist anywhere. Uh, it's not about how many people are watching you. It's about the influence you're having on those around you. Wow. We're at a great point, and yeah. it's such a great message, I would think, for all of us. So, again, everyone, I hope you all will join us. I wanted you all to be able to meet uh, all of us, the co-hosts of this brand-new weekly podcast, Joy, Love, and Abundance, again, kicking off officially on January the 15th. Now, what you guys will have to do every week, you'll be able to find it all over. We're going to let you guys know here uh, in just a few moments how you can stay connected with us individually. But we kind of have a home for all of the podcasts, and that is joyloveandabundance.com. Joyloveandabundance.com is where you guys will be able to go every week beginning on January the 15th to be able to catch up on the podcast. We definitely encourage you guys to share it. It will be available, of course, through my partners at Amazon, through Amazon Music Podcasts and Audible, as well as iHeartRadio, the radio affiliates that Conversations Live is a part of, uh, as well as your other places, too. Uh, you guys know the one platform I don't name by name, but it'll be there, too. Uh, you guys will be able to find it there. So wherever you're able to find your favorite podcast, you'll be able to to listen to Joy, Love, and the Abundance there. And again, uh, Rodney said it the best, and I want to just share again what Rodney had said about what his thoughts were about what Joy, Love, and Abundance would be, and definitely something I know Patrice and I agree on, and that being the Joy, Love, and Abundance podcast will shine a light on the people and organizations who increase joyful, loving, and abundant action in the community. And that's what we want to do. We're going to be able to bring our own perspectives uh, to these weekly conversations, again, addressing the things that are happening um, in the world, but also making sure that you guys know about the great things that are happening to the great people um, that are doing great things and being able to share that with all of you. I think it's going to be great. Um, this is a new adventure, the first time the three of us have worked together, um, Patrice and Rodney, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, Patrice, how can our audience stay connected with you and kind of keep up with the work that you're doing? Yeah, thank you, Cyrus. Well, I, my website is joyfulplanet.com, so please check it out. And I'm on social media, Patrice Tanaka, 
on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and um, LinkedIn. So I look forward to uh, to talking with, with all of you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And, Roddy, what about yourself? How can our audience stay connected with you and find out about those digital dance lessons? Oh, well, thank <laughs> you for that. Yeah, you can find uh, my website. It's uh, – it's my name, RodneyEricLopez.com, R-O-D-N-E-Y-E-R-I-C-L-O-P-E-Z, RodneyEricLopez.com, and you can find uh, all of my social media links on there as well. Please uh, please check it out. would love to be uh, in communication with you. All right. And again, everyone, Joy, Love, and Abundance premieres officially on January the 15th. You guys will be able to find it at JoyLoveAndAbundance.com, so definitely make sure you guys – Make plans to do that. Be a part of the conversation to share it with your friends. And also remember that it doesn't matter where you are. It's all about who you choose to be. And, and that's what we want the three of us, I know, want you all to know. Patrice, Rodney, I'm excited about this new chapter. Excited to start off 2021 with the two of you in this new show. And looking forward to our next conversation together. Likewise. Yes, thank you. <laughs> And, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>